So guys, welcome back to my channel and my name is Rose, this is Aam. And in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, CPA career in Canada. So like how we have a chartered accountant degree in India. So we have a CPA in Canada. So all the accountants out there, I, I think someone had requested this video, but it was long time due. So I'm going to share how you can start your CPA journey or if you're already a C CA from Canada, a CA from India or any anywhere else, what you can do. Um, so let's begin. <laughs> So guys, if you are a chartered accountant from India, so all you have to do is like uh, you have to give the last exam of CPA of Canada, that is the CFE. It is a three day exam which you have to give. And there are a lot of other CAs from chartered accountants from different countries where you don't need to give anything. All you have to do is get your um, uh, CA evaluated by CPA BC and then you can get a C C CPA from Canada. So there are a lot of countries which are exempted, uh, like you don't have to give the CFE exams. But in India, I know for sure you have to give the CFE exam. And also there are a lot of countries like Singapore, you have, if you are a CA from there, all you have to do is come here, just exchange uh, and evaluate a degree from CPABC and you can get your degree. So there are a lot of uh, countries which are exempt. So if you want to know, then you can go on the CPA career website. Uh, CPA BCA website or CPA from any other country uh, any other state you want to do and you can get it because in Canada like uh, there is not a CPA Canada so it's a uh, different provinces have their own CPA so CPA BC, CPA Alberta, CPA Ontario so everyone is different so you can check on this I have a lot of knowledge with the basic one so I will give you the knowledge which I have from CBA BC and I think it's somewhere similar to different ones as well so I'm not sure don't comment on those and tell me that I don't know a lot of things so so CBA BC I know a lot so I'm going to share it with you so so as I told you if you're a CA all you have to do is give a C, uh, CFE so there are a lot of students who want to come for PG diploma in accounting so there's a lot of um, post bachelorate uh, diploma if you do in uh, accounting so the first step, this first step is the prep degree. So there are 14 courses in those. I'm going to put those list up here or I'm going to put it on the uh, description down below. So if you have done your post bachelorate in Canada, so a lot of schools like Douglas, UOBC and KPU, K Capilano, all those universities are there. And if you do that, uh, you have your prep exempt, like those 14 courses, usually it gets exempt. So from my point of view, because our end goal is CA, of course, if you want to do your career in here, but uh, then it's going to cost you a lot to start your, you know, like to start your, like to get your PR. So I know a friend of mine who was from Douglas College who had done his uh, bachelor's from India, from Dubai, Dubai or India. Yeah. So, and then he had done his post bachelor degree in accounting from a uh, Douglas College. So he is all exam to start his PEP courses. But the thing is, the thing is because he is not getting eligible to start his, uh, like to get his PR. So he has to go back to his home country. So I would suggest everyone, if you're coming, trust me, come for a university course, get your PR and then start your, um, uh, like your CPA journey. Because it's going to be easy and when you are a permanent resident, uh, usually when you go to Douglas College, for example, if you are a permanent resident, uh, like a person with a PR or a person with a non-PR, like for an international student, you have to, the courses usually cost you twenty or $2,000 each. But if you are a permanent resident, all it can cost you like $500 or $450, like not more than that, because if you are a domestic student. So I would suggest get your PR first, get your uh, master's degree go in the university get uh, start working get some canadian knowledge start earning some bucks and then start your cpa degree so there are three levels in cpa bc cpa canada okay so the first one is the prep the preparatory courses the second is the pep and the last one is the cfe exam like the common final exam like it's a three days exam so let's start with the first one so the prep courses usually it consists of 14 courses as i told you again but if you did your PG from uh, those universities, you are exempted.
from going through that so you go directly to the next steps so people who did not do their uh, pg so if they had done masters like me so if i want to do a cpa so the first thing is i have to ability you to my uh, transcripts so i have to go and register for cpa and then you have to get your transcript evaluated so if you have done your bachelor's and stuff so they are going to start evaluating your degree so once they do that so they will tell you out of the 14 courses if you have because some of them do their bachelor's in commerce and they get exempted from a lot of courses so out of the 14 courses they will tell you you are exempted from so and so course and you have to take those courses so there are 14 courses and out of them eight are the core courses and seven other non-core courses so what is the difference between them so non-core courses usually the passing percentage is 60 or uh, 50 percent and the core courses courses have a passing percentage of 60 percent so you have to get 60 percent to get exemption so you can usually do it from cpa as well cpa it usually costs around 800 to 900 dollars each courses and you can go to like uh, different colleges like uh, you can go to ubc douglas college and all these colleges where you can go and take the specific courses which you have not uh, like which you need to take and which you don't have exemption granted you can go to these colleges and start your courses and you can take these courses slowly and slowly so the next level in uh, cpa is the pep level so the pep level usually consists of six courses or the six elements so the first one is a core one course second one is a core two course and third is elective that you have two electives uh, like you have four electives you need to take two of them so elective one and two so among those electives you can take uh, like the first one is performance management second is finance third is assurance and taxation so you have to take two any two of uh, the four of them okay then the last one is capstone one and capstone two so usually uh, there is no exam or anything for that so it's usually presentations and stuff so the capstone one and two is a present presentation and stuff so there is no exam and the last one and the final one is uh, after those you can write your cfe so to write and uh, to be eligible to write your cfe you need practical um, like work experience of 24 months so usually you cannot write your final exam without those uh, without that um, a working knowledge so you have to complete your 24 months um, course uh, like your working um, uh, experience then only you are eligible to write your um, uh, cfe so usually when you are your pre-exam like the first level when you are exempted that usually all the accounting big accounting um, companies usually hire you like kpmg deloitte all these companies usually uh, look out for uh, students college students which who have prep exempted and it's a good knowledge trust me if you want to uh, get a good salary good package in accounting trust me try to find jobs in big four because they're gonna exploit you for uh, for the couple of years and but those uh, working knowledge is gonna lend you good jobs uh, further on because uh, usually when you apply for accounting knowledge right there are two things usually uh, companies want like usually they want someone with um, public audit uh, public experience public accounting firm experience and second is that usually they ask you do you have big four experience so that is like a plus plus point a star on your resume so usually because they don't usually have a lot of um, uh, they don't give you good package at this big four firms or all those mid-level firms also are good like in canada there is big currently mnp all these firms are still very good because usually when you do overtime they usually pay you overtime or else they you can take a vacation for this overtime which you have worked later on when you need to give your exams and the plus point of working in this firms or uh, usually in canada uh, the companies usually pay for your pep courses so the pep courses usually it costs around one three two zero dollars plus taxes thirteen hundred twenty dollars plus taxes so usually companies usually pay for it so you don't need to worry about this so even in industry industry you if you go usually pep courses you can uh, ask your company to pay for it and usually they pay for it so here you don't have any um, like all you have to do is start giving your courses slowly and slowly and it is usually of six weeks i think uh, sorry eight weeks and the passing percentage again is 60 percent so so this these are of eight weeks so there is uh, like there is a format like usually you have weekly assignments 
you have weekly quizzes and um like you usually task based simulations and usually you have this four things uh on that like you have to do this weekly and once you have done it on your eighth week i think I, you guys have an exam at the end of this so it happens every two months and usually people take it slow all these pep courses there are six only of them so usually they take in two to two months you finish each course in two months so you can take it easily and it's pretty easy compared to the ca in india because i've seen a lot of friends i have from india and it's pretty tough and you know like four courses usually people start giving their groups into four and they study like 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 crazy like trust me i cannot study so much i will end up dying rather than studying so much because it's it's too tough like in india i know the ca and i think somewhere people people who have done their ca in india or who are doing their ca who have like tried doing ca in india i know that journey is very like never ending and it's very tough so the ca in canada is not so much so if you guys could not do it in india trust me you can start it here and the difference is it's tougher in india tougher in any other country maybe in canada is uh, very easy and the salaries are at least thrice or four times four times i think it's almost 10 times double as much a ca in india earns and a ca in cpa in canada earns so if you are planning to do your cpa in canada you can do it guys it's pretty easy and there are a lot of people you can connect on linkedin or your managers or your buddies in your offices usually they help you so it's it's manageable and then the last thing is your cfe so guys the cfe is a three day exam it starts around eight o'clock or ten o'clock in the morning and it's continuously for three days so usually this C cfe it happens twice in a year only i think one in may and one in some uh, like one in august uh, september somewhere like that. it happens twice only only in the year like there are only two exams in the year which people usually try to go on break for four to six months study at home and then give it end up giving it it's a three day exam so it is usually based on your like when your pep course is at the end you have those uh, group projects right it is usually based on that and here exams are based on lot of your knowledge working knowledge you don't have to you need to understand a concept and start writing and like you don't need to be a bookish knowledge and they don't need word to word knowledge of that so you have to have the knowledge trust me and but it's pretty easy compared to any other ca i think i i know indian ca so it is very tough so this is very easy so you can try and if you if i if you think any of the cas have seen this video or someone who is doing it and if i if you think i am wrong so you can please comment down below because i don't even have a lot of knowledge about this but i've tried to made a make a video about this so and also if you have any questions so you can comment down below and i can try to answer them and last of all if you like this video so you can hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel you can subscribe and thank you for watching my video